O2 is committed to be actively involved in the community. As part of this commitment, we've developed a special relationship with a number of volunteer organisations who support the emergency services. We're really pleased that through the technology and the innovation capabilities from the lab here at O2, we've developed two life-saving apps which will make a real difference to these organisations and the communities they serve. Firstly, the Save a Life app from the community first responders who support the South Central Ambulance Service. And secondly, an app which supports the Lowlands Search and Rescue Organisation. At the moment, they're regional apps, but both have the potential to make a difference in communities across the UK. Uh, my name is Dilip and uh, I'm a senior mobile developer at O2. Um, so the lab worked with Lowland Search and Rescue to develop an app which would assist them with the problems um, they have with uh, collecting their data. Um, so one of the things that the app does, uh, it's available for iOS and Android, is uh, it has the ability to take photos and create reports. Um, that then gets synced up to um, a sort of back end that we also developed, um, which then allows the, the central command to assign people to searches um, and everyone has their own login. So uh, it was just um, trying to make their life a bit easier rather than having to use disposable cameras and um, all sorts of other equipment. And then somebody at the end of the night has to then sync all that up manually. It was just trying to make their lives a little bit easier. So I'm Paul Westwell and this is my search dog Jasper. Uh, we both volunteer for Lowland Rescue. Uh, Lowland Rescue is a, a voluntary organisation with uh, 36 teams around the country and approximately 1,600 uh, volunteers uh, who donate their spare time towards searching for high-risk missing persons. By high risk we refer to people that are in, uh, in imminent danger of death and those sorts of categories of missing persons might include uh, suicidal and uh, people suffering from dementia. When we search for a missing person uh, time is absolutely critical so time equals survivability. The longer a missing person uh, is out there missing they become less responsive. When they become less responsive they then become less detectable and if they're less detectable we're less likely to find them alive. When a Lowland Rescue team is called out by the police the first thing that happens is that all the on-call members are paged. Those members respond and then make their way to the uh, rendezvous point. The app will allow the search managers to see where all the resources are and will also allow them to send information to those people responding to the call out before they actually arrive at the RV, giving them critical information and saving time during the process. The Lowland Rescue app will allow us to see where the resources are once they've been deployed following a call out and it will also allow us, when we're out on the search, to gather information and send that all back centrally to the search controllers. That information can then be uh, stored and uh, kept uh, if needed uh, following the search. Giving first aid to patients who have collapsed from a cardiac arrest is actually very easy to do and it can make a huge difference to outcome. Even simple measures such as chest compressions can increase the chances of survival by about threefold for these unfortunate patients. So one of the aims of the work that we have been doing is to try and encourage everyone to give first aid in the first few minutes before an ambulance arrives. Even though the paramedics on the ambulance have a lot of techniques and skills that they can use to try and help these patients, your actions in the first few minutes before the ambulance arrives can make all the difference as to whether a patient can survive or not. One of the reasons why survival from cardiac arrest is so poor is through the lack of bystander first aid. So what we've been trying to do is to develop an app that encourages people to give first aid in the critical few minutes before an ambulance arrives. The three most important things to remember before an ambulance arrives are firstly to call 999, secondly to start chest compressions on the patient, and thirdly, if there's a spare person, to send them to go and get the nearest defibrillator. A defibrillator is a very simple piece of kit that delivers an electric shock across the heart and can sometimes restart it following a cardiac arrest. 
We have therefore worked with O2 to develop an app that can uh, encourage people to give all three steps in that process um, and use it as an aid memoir in the event of coming across someone in a cardiac arrest who needs urgent first aid. The app facilitates those three steps. Firstly, it has a button to allow the user to call 999 directly. Secondly, it gives instructions on how to give chest compressions, which are absolutely vital in keeping the patient alive until the ambulance arrives. And thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, is able to locate the nearest defibrillator so that a spare person can go and get the defibrillator and bring it back to the victim of the cardiac arrest. By ensuring all those three steps in someone who's collapsed from a cardiac arrest, we hope to make a significant contribution in terms of survival rates and give everyone the best possible chances of survival following a cardiac arrest. On opening the app, the home page has a button labelled Call 999 and we hope that that will speed up calling the ambulance. The device then automatically works out your location and then compares it with a database of approximately 2,000 defibrillators in the South Central region to work out the nearest defibrillator. The flag will show up on the screen and on pressing the flag it will give further details of the defibrillator, in particular how to walk there or drive there and importantly the phone number for the location of the defibrillator so that if possible a call can be made to the location of the defibrillator in order to get someone to have it ready. Once the defibrillator has been retrieved it needs to be returned to the patient as quickly as possible and it is actually a very simple device uh, to use where it, it just involves sticking on some uh, sticky electrodes, turning it on and then the device will do everything else that, that is necessary in terms of delivering a shock. And those three simple actions can increase survival rates from the current 10% to about 60%. These three simple actions, if carried out quickly after someone has collapsed, can make a huge difference to survival. So we're very excited about this app and hope that it's going to be widely used, that everyone's going to tell their friends about it, that people are going to download it and use it uh, so that they're familiar with it prior to needing it in anger, uh, and also familiarise themselves with how to give chest compressions. The app also has links to a number of short videos that South Central Ambulance Service have made. These videos cover the basics of resuscitation, how to give chest compressions to both adults and children, and importantly, also explain how to use a defibrillator. We really recommend that you have a look at these apps, which are all quite short, and become familiar with them prior to needing to use them. This is a really exciting initiative with O2, and we've been able to develop an app, giving us the opportunity to save a lot more lives than we would have been doing before. This has been an interesting piece of work where we've been able to look at all the options for the app and decide which are our priorities. We certainly couldn't have everything we wanted, but this was a great initiative that we've managed to develop in a relatively short period of time. So, two great examples about how O2, how technology and the experience and capability that we have here at the lab can make a real difference in our communities.